Hey everyone, okay, so today's video is about under eye bags. Now, I filmed a video on my own situation about three years ago or so now. And I wanted to kind of update you because I noticed that a lot of comments, especially recently for some reason, um, have been about what, what have I been doing to them and um, am I getting fillers or anything like that for under eye bags. So I thought I would address this issue because it's been a while. First of all, when I normally film, now I'm actually filming with the camera directly on. So my seat's actually a bit higher. Normally it's lower and the camera is slightly tilted. So I tend to look up slightly at the camera. That gives the illusion that the under eye bag area is smoother than it really is. Um, so just to kind of put that out there. I haven't actually had any filler at all um, for eye bags since I posted that video. And the reason being is just after I posted that video, I lost weight and a byproduct of losing weight meant that the under eye bag that was really bothering me, which was um, this eye mostly, it was always here and it was really heavy at one point. Um, losing weight caused the eye bag to reduce because part of it was a fat pad. Now it's not completely um, reduced. You can still see them here, but they're nowhere near as bad. Um, and that was just from weight loss. Now, ultimately, it went too far and I lost about four stone in weight in its entirety or about 60 pounds and I never needed to lose that much so I regained just over a stone over the course of about a year because I just looked so you know unwell but that's all I did I just lost weight I didn't get any Botox or fillers or do anything else and I kind of want to make that point under eye fillers can do an amazing job and giving the illusion of filling out the hollow or the kind of bag area. It kind of builds up the rest of the face to meet it so that it looks more smooth. But I haven't done any of that. Um, generally speaking, it just doesn't interest me too much anymore. As I get a bit older, I just become a bit more accepting of the things that are on my face. Uh, I have other concerns <laughs> um, that aren't, you know, that may be going on inside my body more than um, what's going on the outside, but no fillers, no Botox, nothing else like that whatsoever. Just lost weight and thankfully a big part of it was a fat bag and that kind of dissipated as I lost weight. Um, but they are still here and I do normally film slightly with the camera slightly down and me slightly up, which also gives the illusion that things are a lot smoother, which is why I'm filming straight on. Um, and also I have very, very bright lights here as well um, from this setup. They, they go all the way around and they brighten my face so that I look better on here than I actually do in real life. So there you go, that's really truly what I've had done. Um, if you are gonna go to a doctor with regards to under eye fillers, make sure it's a good doctor and you have seen the work that they have done and talked to them about any problems that may arise. I had it done originally, didn't look quite right. I had the filler then dissipated with an injection and it refilled by another doctor. That looked much better. But then I got into the process of losing weight for health reasons and um, you know, things looked a bit better, thankfully. So there you go, that's the honest truth. Thanks so much, see you all soon. And there is a list of eye creams under there in the description bar as well. Um, some that are incredibly good, so check those out. Thanks so much, bye-bye.